Bravo. On to our second, on to our second group, RCSI's healthcare professions. Expert mentor in this is Martina Crahan. Pilot group on this occasion, seven participants, and they're sharing a word cloud presentation based on reflections of using the professional development framework. Good morning, everybody. Um, on behalf of my colleagues here, may I just take the opportunity, first of all, to thank the National Forum for giving us this um, opportunity to participate in this exciting project. Uh, from our perspective, although we are all health professions, educators and RCSI, our specific disciplines and area of the curriculum differ. So we decided our focus or lens would be that of a common thread of educator and our journey through this professional development project. We are using two metaphors, that of the journey of growth from acorn or seed to tree, which reflects the need to focus on the parallel journeys of growth involved not just for our students, but also ourselves. And secondly, that of the mirror or looking glass. Reflection is a central part of our journey, and the mirror is often used as a metaphor or symbol in reflective practice. But it is an imperfect one. What we see in the mirror is coloured by our assumptions, our preconceptions, our existing views of ourselves. And so a little like Lewis Carl's Alice, we need to step through the looking glass and refocus our lens. This is our story. In starting to reflect on our professional development and teaching, we can see some parallels from what it is like when starting to teach. While we're all secure in our professions as healthcare professionals, it can feel a little like being thrown in at the deep end when starting out in education. It can be hard for us to see what we need to do to change and to improve. Like the acorn, we may be yet to reach our full potential. In looking at ourselves, focusing on reflection, we can begin to see ourselves clearer, to see what we need to nurture us and to start to grow to our full potential. The seedling, what supports our professional development? Having support from colleagues where we work, leadership in our different schools, departments and institutions and opportunities for feedback is so important. Going forward, it's important that we have ongoing time to reflect on how much we've learned and how much we continue to learn in the future. And also maybe thinking more about this in our PDP experiences and maybe in promotions. What kind of an environment does it need to be? It needs to be a supportive environment that is challenging, it's always dynamic, but an environment where educational development and professional development is valued to help us on our journey. What was difficult and what helped us? The main difficulty was having time, but a key factor that helped us was our meetings with our expert mentor, Martina Crehan. Getting together with colleagues in our pilot group was hugely beneficial we could discuss our learning, share our progress, support each other and motivate each other. Thank you. And so as our journey continued, um, I was absolutely delighted to be asked to participate in this framework and looked forward to it to, with great anticipation. I had already done a lot of reflective writing as part of a diploma a couple of years ago. I have found the revelations it made for me about me to be exhilarating. It was a good fit. My intention then was to use the reflective pieces to explore my professional identity as an educator. And as I started to explore the structure of the domains of the framework, many questions came flooding in. Not least was how would my professional identity, once established, intertwine with my teacher-educator identity my researcher identity and my personal identity. As I look into the mirror to reflect and look at our journey and how it has grown into our word cloud, I see some words like teach, facilitate, lifelong, practice, which remind me of my journey, 
but I also see the words student, learn, engage, studies, which remind me of my students, their journey, and how one does not exist without the other. Although we now look in the mirror and see the growing tree, in reality we are always and continuously returning to the acorn state in a process of renewal and regrowth. Just as the cycle of growth from acorn to tree continues, so via reflection and personal development, our imagination and creativity in relation to our teaching is awakened. And to emulate Lewis Carl's Alice, and believe as many as six impossible things before breakfast may be a worthy goal. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>